huevos en nachos Definitely make sure that you subscribe. My name is Megan. You can call me Angasha, Pharaoh, Meg, whatever you want to call me is cool with me. Today I'm coming with a everyday makeup look. I don't wear makeup every day. I feel like I have to put out the disclaimer every time I do a makeup video just because I don't wear makeup all the time, especially where I live. It's really hot. I live in like a tropical climate now, so I don't like to wear makeup every day. But when I do, this is the look that I go for. It's really simple. No foundation is involved. And for my oily girls, you know, acne prone, acne scars, you want something that's medium to full coverage that'll cover that, but it won't cake down your face. So I feel like this is a great makeup look to try out. And yeah, I'm going to stop rambling now. So Make sure that you subscribe, like, comment, tell me what you guys want to see from me, and follow me on social medias. I'll leave all that down below. See you in the next clip. So to start off, we're going to be moisturizing our lips. I'm using the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in the pink packaging. I actually forgot what the flavor of this was. <laughs> and I'm curling my hair using the Duval Desire Series 25mm Curling Wand. The wand comes with this heat resistant glove to help protect your hand from any burns and it also has this really clever 360 degree swivel cord to help with ease of use while curling your hair. So as you can see I'm just parting my hair into sections and I'm curling upwards and I'm only going about halfway and then I'm just going to hold the curl and let it down. And I'm trying to go for like a natural wavy look, so that's why I'm not curling all the way up my head. Taking another piece here and just doing the same thing, and I'm gonna repeat this step all across my hair. Some other great aspects of this curling wand is that it has instant fast heating, so it maintains a consistent temperature for even styling, and it actually is clamp free. So it puts less stress on your hair and reduces any damage and breaking. I personally am a 90s baby and every curling wand I grew up with had a clamp that ripped my hair out. So I am definitely grateful for this not having a clamp. <laughs> Look at that body yaddy yaddy. Like that is such a pretty curl and I was actually really in love with that curl in particular. So I wanted to redo the other curls but I just kept on going and curl the rest of my hair but this barrel is what gives you that perfect curl it's a professional tourmaline barrel so it helps to eliminate static reduces frizz and protects your hair from any heat damage which was news to me because i don't actually have any heat protecting spray for my hair and this is a u-part wig from ali pearl so it's not all my hair but i still want to protect it from any heat damage so that the hair can last so knowing that this curling wand helps to do that is great. So here was a finished look on my hair. I'm really happy with it. It looks really natural, very effortless, very cute. So now on to the makeup. We're starting off with brows and we're just brushing up the brow hairs to help set them in place or keep them in place. I don't actually use any brow gel, but I'm looking for a good one. So let me know what you guys like to use in the comments down below. Um, but I'm just filling in my brows with a Benefit brow pencil and brushing the product into my brows using the spoolie that's conveniently on the other side. I realized that this brow was a little longer than the other, so I'm just wiping a little bit of that excess off. And then we're going in with the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer and we're going to be cleaning up our brows and making sure that they 
look nice and neat. I don't actually get my brows threaded or plucked or waxed or anything like that. They're just natural, so I do have some excess hair around my brows that I need to cover up. And midway through me doing my brows, I realized I did not put on primer, but that's okay. We move regardless. So we're just gonna do that after. And here I'm actually taking this like old e.l.f. powder brush, I believe, and using it to blend out the front of my brows to create a gradient-like effect. I do not like a scouse brow, I don't like blocky brows, so doing this kind of gets rid of some of the product in the front to make it look more realistic. The primer I'm using is the NYX Shine Killer and I'm mixing that in with my moisturizer. You can use any moisturizer and just put this on the major points of your face and then pat the primer moisturizer blend in. Don't rub because that'll cause premature aging so try to pat as much as you can. To substitute foundation I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder in the Deep shade this is actually almost like a mineral powder foundation if you will um, it helps with preventing oiliness but it also gives me some coverage as you can see it is covering up some of my fine lines and acne scars so i like to use this and substitute a foundation because it's a lot more lightweight than foundation is and i live in a tropical climate so i don't want to take my face with product let me tell you a little story about this side. This side. Really can't make it on this side. This side. A lot of stars on this side. This side. A lot on using the NARS concealer again to highlight going in the corner of my face or corner of my eyes rather and then pushing the product down a little further but not too far down and then we're doing this kind of cat eye highlight trend that I've been seeing it actually really does help to lift the face I'm just highlighting the major points in my face where I want to attract light and I'm going over that with the born this way concealer and butterscotch and I'm just gonna be using this because it's a little bit brighter so it brings more dimension to the highlight What's been mine? I gotta get back on this side. Blending out the concealer using a dry beauty blender. I know normally most people use a wet beauty blender, but I've come to realize with me for some reason, whenever I use a wet beauty blender, it picks up the product and it leaves patches. So I try to not use a wet beauty blender anymore. Um, sometimes I kind of forget and I still use one, but I prefer it dry and that's what I'm doing as of right now. But it might change, who knows? blending the concealer on my nose using my finger because the heat from your fingers actually helps to blend product the best and for some reason on my nose I guess I have enlarged pores there if I don't use my finger the product will shift and move and create patches on my nose so I like to use my finger to blend that out I'm using the Sephora micro smooth powder in the color deep and I actually picked this up because years ago Alyssa Ashley talked about it and it does what it says in the name. It smooths out any appearance of texture on your skin. It's great because it kind of just like creates this blurring effect on your makeup. So I love it so much and it's Sephora brand so you know it's not too expensive and yeah it's just all around a great product. Now I'm using the NARS loose powder in the color Mountain and this is my highlight shade. Um, I love this powder. It gives me such a bright under eye but it doesn't look ashy and it doesn't give me any flashback which is like the perfect thing because I've used plenty of powders that look good in real life but then as soon as you try to take a picture you look like Casper and we're not trying to look like Casper okay so definitely pick up this powder if you can it's awesome and I'm actually using this to also cut out my contour or create the contour using the highlight um, really old school trick but it does the job and I, will, I think I was singing <laughs> 
powder sit for too long, I'm using the Micro Smooth Powder with the same fluffy brush and just blending out any harsh lines and kind of buffing away the harsh lines to create a smoother effect. We can still kind of see the highlight there. Next, I'm using the Soft Focus Powder uh, by Black Radiance. I think the color is Milk Chocolate. This is my bronzer. Um, I guess you could say this is my contour, but it's a little too light for contour, so I just call it a bronzer. Um, it's actually supposed to be like a face powder, but I used it once like years ago and realized it was not my shade <laughs> for all over face powder, so I just started using it as contour, a bronzer, and it's perfect. It gives me like this warm glow, and I'm using that big fluffy brush again. You can see what brush is my favorite, and just kind of blending out the bronzer and buffing that out going along my jawline and doing the same thing is I need help with this double chin. <laughs> I'm going in with this Steve Laurent blush, I think. Laurent? Laurent? I don't know. It's in the color I'm blushing. The super rosy, really cute color. I used to never wear blush, but I feel like it really brings color back into my face and makes me look younger. I mean, I'm pretty young, I like to think. I'm only 25, but I feel like I'm getting older and I don't want to, so. <gasps> okay, none of it broke. It broke? It didn't break. <sighs> okay, after that, I needed to take a sip of water <laughs> and like recollect myself. And then I realized that I was taking way too long to do my makeup, so let's get on with the rest of it. So after that, I started putting on the bronzer and powder as my lid color on my eyes. And I do this for pretty much every makeup look, honestly. And then I'm taking this shimmering color from the Too Faced Gingerbread palette and just blending that out and kind of adding some dimension to my eyes. I usually don't even do this, but I figured why not. Next, I'm using this NYX Matte Setting Spray, and this is my all-time favorite setting spray. Honestly, it's right up there with All Nighter from Urban K, and just drying that down. Pro tip, even though I'm not a pro, use highlighter after you put on your setting spray because it helps to amplify the pigmentation of your highlighter. The highlight that I'm using is the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Oh Darling, I believe. I'm going to be using the Bad Gal Bang Mascara from Benefit. This is like holy grail product right here for me. I have no lashes, so for it to do that means that it's a good product, okay? Normally, I would just wear mascara but I felt like putting on lashes today so I'm using this black eyelash adhesive as a liner, an eyeliner and this is a trick that I learned forever ago but it helps to kind of blend in the lashes and make it easier to apply. I didn't really like how the lashes looked here closer to the inner corner of my eye. They're like these fake Demi Whispies that I got off Amazon so I figured I would just cut them. So I'm redoing the lash glue here and I cut the lashes in half and I'm using the outer corner this time and just placing that right on the edge of my eye to create more of a cat eye look. Going back in with the mascara to help blend the lashes together and I'm just going to do the same on the other eye. And lastly for lips, I'm just using the NYX Butter Gloss and Praline. This is another Holy Grail product of mine. I think everybody has used this lip gloss at one point or another. for watching. Thank you to Duvall for sending me this Desire curling wand. It is fantastic. I feel like I never really used to curl my hair until I got this so I'm going to be doing a lot more hair looks with this and I'll leave all the information down below. Definitely use my coupon code to save some coins. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye.